Wow, Wally here. Guys, this is the Fiskars X25 and this is the Husqvarna S2800. Splitting axes. One year ago, I got these two axes and I put them through their paces in a head-to-head -head comparison, okay? Guys, both performed differently, okay? Both excelled in certain areas, both fell in certain areas, guys. Okay, now it is one year later. Let's look at them again and let us see what I think of them after one year's of hard use. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. I'm out in the log shed. In the log yard, log shed. Got a bit of wood to split. Got a bit of black pine. I got a bit of unknown. And I have actually found a big round of beach. The original beach. Now, what I want to do today, I want to split some of this wood using both axes. Okay, it's very windy, apologies. I want to split some of these wood using both axes, right? See how it performs, and then we'll talk about the two axes and what I think of them after a year. Okay, so make sure you stay to the end for that. First, let's let's whack up this beach and see how it is. I found this laying in a, in a big pile of grass. It has. It's seasoned. I'm going to say it's seasoned. Let's try the fiskers on it. Not too shabby. Let's try the Husqvarna. That wood's nearly done. That wood's close. No. Heavy, but close. Guys, forgive me, I'm nursing a bit of a dodgy shoulder, so. Okay, straight into the middle of it with the fiskers. Let's see how it gets on. Right there. You see, it's as if he's actually going to hit that spot. Let's try the Husker Barn. bit of pine which is actually some of the hardest stuff I split here guys believe it or not let's get this up into the into the tire so it stops flying away on me
Let's get the whiskers. Okay. No problems. Split not quite easy. No ones are not too bad. Right, that is that. Let us get something a wee bit more difficult into the mix, okay? Guys, behind me I have a mixture of black pine and I have a mixture of uh, unknown stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. I took, I took it out from next door. Look at this. Look at that. That's heavy as well, it's very dense. So let me see how we get on with the Fiskers. I am not expecting either axe to perform very well on this stuff, guys. Oh, not bad. Whoa. Do you see that? Do you see that? Whoa. Whoa. Genie Mac. There's some, some tension there. Whoa. Now I warmed it up with the Fiskers. Let's try, let's try the Husqvarna, which does bite deeper because it has a bit of a longer profile on, on the blade, on the face. I wonder what type of wood that is. Cherry, maybe? Another unknown, and it's a butt piece as well. Could possibly be Rowan or Mountain Ash. The same thing, you, you know what I mean. Nearly split it, okay? Nearly split it. Okay, that'll do. Let us, let us converse, let's talk. So, I have used both these axes a lot over the last year, okay? Both the Husqvarna and the Fiskers, a lot, okay? I am going to say that I have, I have used these axes more than any of the other axes I have, including the halt the first case including you know which which i would class as my favorite axe my favorite splitting axe you know uh has my opinion changed now back a year ago i did think that the husqvarna was a better axe right well yes and no what what i found is that both of them are excellent axes one of them performs better in certain areas than the other a surprising you know, conclusion to to uh, to certain videos where I was splitting certain types of wood that it, where I thought the Husqvarna would have excelled, and it didn't, and the the the, the Fiskers was much better. 
Guys, the Husqvarna is nicer to swing. It definitely is. It had that little bit of extra weight just gives it a better forward momentum. It's weighed, weighed more at the front so that it falls nicer. It just is, there's a little bit more design gone into it, you know, than the Fiskars. The Fisker swings nice as well. There's like there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I am thinking that they are closer than they were before. As in the the, the you know as in the the Husqvarna is just a little bit better than the Fiskers. Whereas before I would have thought that the Husqvarna was much better, guys. So this is my conclusion, right? I know I'm <laughs> waffling a bit. This is my conclusion. They are both very good axes, okay? If you walk into your local hardware store and you pick up either of those axes, you're gonna be happy with it, okay? That's it. As long as you are splitting stuff that it is, you know, designed to split. You know, they are short axes, remember that. The Husqvarna is a little bit heavier than the Fiskars, you know, so it's always gonna have that bit of a more bite to it. Uh, but both excellent axes, guys. Boat well worth a couple of quid if you're in the market. As for reliable or res, you know resilience and all that there, about the handles, I've had no issues with the handles whatsoever. I know people have asked me questions about sub-zero uh, temperatures and stuff, but guys, I don't, I am not in sub-zero temperatures very often. Maybe twice a year we get down below zero here at this stage, uh, guys. I do find that neither of them has the greatest edge retention or the greatest, you know, they do feel, the metal does feel a little bit soft and I have had to touch them up, uh, you know, a couple of times, okay? So that is something to be aware of. Guys, neither of these is your, your a hundred and something odd quid, you know, Swedish steel axe, all right? They're not that, you know, with, with the wooden handle. They're not the halter for split and sledge, they're, you know, they're not, all right? But they are very capable. So if you are interested in getting either one of these, I would recommend the two of them. <laughs> Controversial. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.